I'm here with Antonio Perez Malero, an extraordinary artist. Antonio, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me today. Uh, you were born in Spain, is that correct? Yes, yes. And where in Spain were you, were you born? In a little town near Alicante, which is part of Valencia. And that's on the, that's on the Mediterranean side? Yeah. So you grew up surrounded Bayside. by sunshine and good paellas, and I hear you make a great paella. Yeah, it's typical <laughs> in my town. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, you didn't end up in Spain. I had been doing art without knowing that I was doing art mm -hmm. since I was a child. In the school, when they had to illustrate some speech or something, I always did my own drawing. And my teachers asked me, put in the, the wall so people can copy you. But I didn't know that it was art. I just did what I liked it. Now, from Spain, you went to Venezuela, is that yeah. correct? Oh, yeah. But you weren't a professional artist. You still had an interest in art, but you were an engineer, I believe. A draftsman. A draftsman. I was working in Spain, my first job, aluminum of Canada, went to Alicante, and they offered me a job. Okay. Yeah, it was very nice. My mother was very happy because money was needed. Mm -hmm. But I have uncles in Venezuela, and I went there, I, I started looking for a job as draftman, and I worked with the most famous company in Venezuela. And from there, I went to U.S. Steel, the first open pit iron mine in the world. They opened in 1949. And I went there and got a job for 12 years. Along the way, you were doing artwork, and, and All when way. did you make the decision to go from this good job at U.S. Steel and then shift into art full-time. Did that happen when you were in Venezuela? I was offered money for my work mm -hmm. as an artist and it became more and more, so then I decided to do art. Now from Venezuela, you didn't stop there because from Venezuela you came to the United States, I believe. Yeah, in 1980. Friends in Venezuela, mm -hmm. they, they were here in, in the States and they told me that I would do well here. And I came and they put me in a show in the Museum of Contemporary Art wow. in New York. And from there, non-stop was growing and growing and I sold and sold and sold. I have people working for me and I did a quite a few projects, mm -hmm. large ones. Your body of work that you do is extremely varied, from geometric pieces to homages to the great French Impressionists and the masterworks, but there's the common theme in your artwork of this uh, movement through space and time. How would you describe if there was a movement that your art would fall into? Or maybe you created an entirely new movement. How would you describe it? I do my work, my geometry work, but really the one who finished the job is the people who see it. Because according to what they feel like, the work will look for them. Different geometry influencing the mind. And with color, it gives another dimension. Mm -hmm and I used to call my work psychokinetic. And somebody wrote about it, accepting the idea. But when I started doing the Impressionist, homage, and other things, the psychokinetics, it was one period. Right. So that is, and now soon, I will start another period that I haven't started yet. It's on my mind. Well, I can't, I, I, mean, I, 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 can't, I can't wait to see it. It sounds like you're...